Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1, and it reads, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, for better learn not. The heathen. I mean, what part of that don't you understand? You Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians of Indian descent, you are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. And the scriptures say over and over, y'all y'all are all out of time right about now celebrating labor. They never looked up the word labor. The word labor means to work, means to suffer. When Labor Day and all these other pagan customs was actually formed and created, you, you were somewhere catching hell in slavery. Upon a, one of these nations, all these different pagan customs, when they was formed and created, you were somewhere in slavery. I mean, working, 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 working. While you somewhere celebrating Labor's Day, your house, your house on fire. Ain't even paid the rent yet. The majority of our people ain't even paid their rent yet, but they made sure they went out of town for Labor Day. Just, when, just like when Christmas comes. Our people ain't paying no bills, but they'll make sure they get them presents going into debt for this foolishness. For this foolishness. And then people are um, crashing, trying to get back home, crashing. Look, like we was um, just on a little road trip yesterday. All kind of crashes on the highways and byways. All these different festivals. You know, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, flooded out one festival, like 70,000 70, people stranded in and, and all that mud. Letting you know that the Lord ain't down with this nonsense. But you Israelites going to learn there's a way that seeming right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Celebrating these pagan customs leads to death is red, straight up deletion. Let's get this again. Like I said before, just something quick about the head out. Go get this daily bread. I got I to gotta work on so-called Labor's Day. Thousands remain stranded in Nevada. But you can you continue to have your fun. You continue to have your fun. Keep continue ignoring the words of the Lord. You Israelites go learn Jeremiah 10 and 1. He the word which the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus speak unto you, O house of Israel, our people before us a place. You you know who you are right about now. All hell breaking loose. You're crying about hyperinflation. You're crying that the grocery is too expensive. You're crying that the rent is too expensive. You're crying about the lights, the water, and every damn thing else. But at the same time, you take all your hard-earned money and go out of damn town. And then come right back and complain. All in Dollar, dollar Tree, turns around, the prices went up 25 cents. You, you complain about something going up 25 damn cents. Pay that shit. You ain't complaining when you buy them damn nails. Them, you ain't complaining when you spend all that damn money on them BBLs. You know, you have prescriptions and all this other nonsense. You see? Families say they they found an unidentified person in the damn river. Hundreds of ten funeral for Alicia Watts following tragic tragic deletion. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen. These different customs, these pagan feast days, the Lord said, don't learn it. Point blank, period. Easter, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Labor Day. You just keep naming them, man. Columbus Day. They just be making up days, man. Martin Lucifer, the king. Thanks, stealing. Washington's birthday, Independence Day. When all these things were created, you was in slavery, catching hell. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Shit, the heathens worshiping the sun, the moon, the stars. Once more, worshiping comets. 
anything they see. We're not supposed to be dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the customs of the people are vain. But you're going to continue to celebrate it. You see? You're going to hear this video like you heard every other video. If you even listen to the video, you, you're going to laugh, you're going to mock, you're going to scar until you get yourself in a world of trouble. Isaiah chapter 5. Just so quick, I'm about to head out, man. And Lord willing, the Lord protect each and every last one of us, hope for Lex. Let, let us do what is honest and right. Remember, the Lord said, um, even more in my um in my absence. Let's see if we can get that too. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe, destruction unto them that call evil good. These pagan cousins, you know, it's, you know they're wicked. What you call them good, though. My mama did it. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. You think the Lord want to hear that? You causing your kids to, to, to go off and could potentially get destroyed? You got a, you got a, a person that escaped prison, but you out there having fun. A deleter. A 10-year-old leaves cops on a, on a, on a high-speed chase. A damn 10-year-old. Too much damn Grand Theft Auto. Well, yeah, this has some fun. This has some fun. Woe, destruction unto them that call evil good and good evil. They put darkness for light and light for darkness. They call what we doing evil. We're preaching the word of the Bible. We're telling our people according to the Bible to repent, turn back, sorrowful, remorseful, regretful, fearful to their power so you can live. And they, call, they call that darkness. And they, they call witchcraft, drug dealing, Game banging, they call that good. They call that light. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Let's get that one that I call that I just thought about. What was it? Um, so much going on right about now. The Lord bringing bringing Babylon down, bringing America down. So, so it's beautiful. You Israelites, you can't continue to have your fun though. Had the beaches gonna be packed today. The beaches has been packed all weekend. A whole lot of nonsense concerts, demonic music being played. And the Lord don't hear that mu music either. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you. Since you don't want to take heed. Remember, first scripture I read was that Jeremiah. The 10th chapter, learn not the way of the heathen. Since you don't want to take heed to the words of the Bible. Since you don't want to receive correction. Ezekiel 18. Go out of town, spend all your damn money. Then you ain't got no gas money to get back home. You see, when you get back home, it's rent time. People spending $40,000 on damn Beyonce to, to, to go watch that damn demon dancing. Go watch them damn old ass buns shake. You know what I'm saying? You people are through though, man. You know these people are gods and goddesses and all this BS, man. Ezekiel 18, just to please somebody. But ain't nobody, everybody trying to please their own flesh, but ain't nobody trying to please the God of the Bible. Your Howard through his only begotten son, your Howard shot. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, a people before the place. You know who you are. And the Lord ain't going to keep warning you Israelites over and over and over. The warning is almost over. Everyone according to his or her ways. Save the Lord, your Howard. Repent. Mean to turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful, and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness shall not be your ruin. But it's going to be the end all, be it all, for a whole lot of Israelites. Because they're not going to take heed. You reject knowledge, the Lord's going to reject you. Just remember that. You reject the knowledge, the God of the Bible is going to reject you. Proverbs chapter 29, verse, verse 1 in the reads, He or she... Because this scripture right here applies. When you just when you hear when you see the word he, it doesn't just apply to the man. It applies to the Israelite woman too. Because they'll come out their mother and say, it says she. It doesn't say she. So I can go do whatever I want to do. No. He or she, they're being often reproved, meaning corrected, hardened his or her neck, shall settle. You don't want to be corrected. The Lord said, don't eat pork, shrimp, crab, bottom feeders like lobsters, crabs. Shrimp. You don't want to listen. Being witches and warlocks. You know, a duchesses, a duchesses. You straight up wicked. Shall suddenly you don't want to turn from that. Shall suddenly be destroyed when you least expect it. You're gonna be destroyed, Israel. And that without remedy, ain't gonna be no cure. It ain't gonna be no. I'm sorry. 
I, I, I didn't mean to do it. Can you forgive me? Give me one more chance. How many chances do you want the Lord to give you? Just, just, just real talk. How many chances do you Israelites want to look? Um, what was that scripture I was thinking of? Oh yeah, because they somewhere they somewhere dancing right about now, or oh, getting ready to dance. Hey, yeah, yeah, they probably dance throughout throughout the whole night. You know, Israel they love to dance. They love to dance. Early in the morning they somewhere dancing, drunk as hell. Ecclesiastes manhunt intensify the epistle Pennsylvania after convicted the leader escapes from prison. But everybody having fun. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 5. Another warning. The warning is going to eventually end. The scriptures say you keep being hard headed. You don't want to take heed to the word. Then his wrath is going to come upon you suddenly, Israel. Suddenly. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 5. And it reads, It is better to hear the rebuke. <clears throat> so like it. it is better to hear the rebuke meaning the correction the word rebuke means to correct it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools because you know you know they're somewhere dancing right about now matter of fact just jump on up just jump on up i'd rather hear somebody correct me if i'm going off than me to sit around all day listen to some stupid music that ain't gonna do they ain't doing nothing but putting spirits on me to act a certain way. Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning. This is great millstone. This is the house of mourning. Now we ain't walking around crying every time somebody turn around. Ugh, ugh. But we're in a mournful state. We're at the bottom right about now. We're catching hell. We're being punished for going off. Now it's time to repent. Turn back to the Lord and do what is right and honest. For the first time in your life. Or look. Or not, then they go to the house of feasting. You go into that definition for the word feasting means partying, having fun, celebrating. Then we're gonna have fun. I mean, having a good time every now and then ain't nothing wrong with it. But that's that's our people mind state. Dozens, dozens hurt, thousands without power. Um, at Typhoon, Hukuwaka, they they hit Taiwan. I bet you them people ain't dancing right about now. As long as it's all good, the only thing you want to do is dance, right? For that is the end of all men. And the living will lead to his heart with all that party, all that reveling, all that drinking and all that. You get caught off guard. And then every time you go somewhere, you start as expensive shit is. You, you Israelites better start um, fixing lunch, dinner, and breakfast from home. You're going to go broke trying to go to a damn restaurant. And look, every time you go out of town, look how much them damn restaurants be. Making, making millions off you lazy ass people. You don't want to look. The, ain't fixing no sandwiches when you go out of town. And ain't, ain't getting the cooler. Put some ice in it. Put some uh, homemade sandwiches in that thing. Some little drinks in that thing. Now you have to just go to the damn restaurant like three, four times that day while you out of town and spill a hell of bread. That's the end of all men and women just living a careless life. That's when that wrath of the Lord come upon you suddenly. Verse 4, the heart, basically a lesson just going into learning not the ways of the heathens. Haven't you had enough? People going broke trying to keep up with the Smiths and the Joneses. Verse 4, the heart men in the mind of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart men in the mind of fools is in the house of mirth. Only thing you want to do is dance and have fun. Go and look, look at someone else's expense, especially for these women. Y'all damn sure ain't spending no damn money. If y'all is spending money, y'all you know spending all y'all damn money. Come come back mad as hell because you had to spend everything. That 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 one had went out. Let's get let's get matter of fact. Let's stand Isaiah right quick. I got two more scriptures, then I'm gone. Got to head out, man. Lord willing, the Lord to protect each and every last one of us. For the brothers this off today, make some videos. Isaiah chapter 58. Make some videos, you know what I'm saying? Correcting Israel with this word. Isaiah chapter 58. Or either going to um the, uh, the beginnings of um Labor Day, the history of Labor Day. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. Show our people where they're going off at. Just like we were showed. Because we didn't know what was going off on years ago. 
The Lord set forth his teachers, the prophets. Remember, Amos 3 and 7, should the Lord power would do nothing. But he, and you, when you Israelites come up to these um, Israelite groups, the camps, listen. There ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with asking a question every now and then. But look, we're, we're out there to teach you. We're, we're not out there for you to teach us. Come up, humble yourself down and listen. Lord, Lord hates a prideful person. You come up knowing you don't know shit. You come up fresh out of church thinking you can correct the men of the Lord. And you don't even know what the hell you talking about. Just shut the hell up, man, and listen for a change. Maybe you'll learn some. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. We come out there week in and week out. We do these videos week in and week out. To tell our people where they going off at. To correct them with the words of the Bible. And if you think you know more than us. Then go set up a camp and teach the people. Since you know some of you. All, all you bunch of know-it-alls. The Lord said you reject the knowledge. Our people reject this knowledge. This is what the Lord going to do. For all, for every Israelite, Negro, Latin, and Native Americans. That, that rejected this knowledge. Look, look at this. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, and it reads, My people are destroyed, possessive. My people, not the whole world. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge that, what you, that we're giving you week in and week out because thou has rejected knowledge, and you reject the words when we bring it out. I will also reject thee. Now, now you, you're going to see rejection on a whole other level now when the Lord rejects you. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And all hell literally breaking loose. The Lord's like, I'm forgetting you and your babies, y'all. I, 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 I wouldn't care who starve out. The Lord's like, yo, I, I wouldn't care who lose their job. At this point, because his word then went out already. Uh, at this point, you know, you know you reap what you sow. And the Lord don't give a damn about how tall you are, how good you look, what's your career. If, if you're not turning back, fearing the God of the Bible, he's going to reject you. But this is my last one because I got the road. Jeremiah chapter 11. Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah chapter 11. All them people went all out there to Nevada. 70,000, 100,000 people all out there in Nevada, parting their ass off. Now all of them stuck in some damn flood water. You see, mud every damn well. Can't even move. Just got to just sit there. Just sit there. And who, know, and who knows when you're going to get rescued? Just sit there, man. Somebody probably breaking in your damn house. Your, your dog barking like hell. He in the corner scared. Or they didn't let him out of the damn house and he just ran off. You got to you have somebody help help you find him when, if you make it back. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. But, well, yeah, let's go celebrate the holidays, right? You Look, you'll get enough. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, your howard through his only begotten son, your howard shall behold, I will bring evil upon them. Meaning bad times which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, because they're going to do a whole lot of crying, man. And though they shall cry unto me, I will now hearken unto them. Remember, you rejected this word. Now the Lord is going to reject you, man. You see? This man escaped as thousands remain trapped at Burning Man. At Burning Man. Thousands. 70,000 people are still trapped at Burning Man. They went out there to have that big giant concert or whatever was going on out there. All of them, look at all them damn people. Over 70,000 people. See, see, see the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And, and there's a whole lot of you jakes out there too. Damn phones dying down. It's crazy. But you can have it your way. Learn out the ways of the heathen shallow one.